Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. This video is about video instructions in Google Classroom using the Android app. So right now I am in a classroom in the Android app on my Chromebook. And it, you notice it looks a little bit different, but down here we have that same plus and we have our same options for adding to the stream. I will add an assignment and I can do all this. You see all this typical stuff where you have your title and you have your description. And if I type in title and it looks like eventually I, oh, I don't have any students, but I will be able to differentiate like I normally could. But the way we attach, no, normally you have your Google Drive and your YouTube button. Oh no, in Android, the way we attach is with the paperclip and that will bring up and we have to click and drag it up from the bottom we have take photo, record video. That's different, isn't it? So if I take a photo, I could take a photo of myself. I could be holding a piece of content or something to, to cue the students. So if I do that real quick, what a great photo. Wow, who knew it would come out so nice? And then if I click on it, it will open in Drive in Chrome and look at that. I mean, that's perfect. All right, anyway, we get back to that, but let's do even better. Let's add a video so we can give video instructions to our students it says record video and i'll do that real quick hi this is mr mulaney please do the assignment as i've directed you all right and again all oh, beautiful again with mr mulaney right there and now and by the way if you notice on these attachments you have the same options students can view, they can edit, you can make a copy for each student. So maybe you share a picture that you take with your webcam and then you make a copy for each student and then they edit it, play with it in Google Drawings, who knows? Let me just see if I can get the preview. Sometimes Google Drive takes a minute to render a preview, but again, it would open up in, and yeah, it will do that. I could download it, um, but it does always take a minute to do that. And that's it. Once I assign it to my class, we're good to go. And I can do that using the Android app, whether it be, and I didn't mean to do that, whether it be in uh, on an Android tablet, whether it be on my phone, or in some cases, like the one I'm using now, with a Chromebook. If you have any questions about this strategy, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.